Hi everybody at CSIS. Um, it's July 15th, 2021. Uh, it's 11:19 and it's 77 degrees. Today we're gonna try to go do some investigating in Meriden. Well, we're not gonna try. And uh, this is an interesting area, you know. Not far from where we're going today is the Berlin Turnpike. And uh, there's a trucker who uh, gave us a very interesting, very detailed, very credible reporting. Um, we believe it was a rake. And this is very early in the day. And this is not um, this is not the only thing on the Berlin Turnpike. Our historian, uh, Carrie, hi Carrie, um, she found some information at the, the Bigfoot uh, field research organization, the BFRO, um, had a sighting on the Berlin Turnpike, and that's where this rake was sighted. And um, we're going to check into the Black Dog of Meriden. So right there, right there are three different cryptids in a very urban area. And uh, even the person that submitted the rake report I don't think they knew it was a rake, but it was the best thing um, that we could sort of figure that it was, the closest thing. Um, noted that, you know, they didn't expect to see anything out there because it's, it, it's, it's highly industrialized. There's a lot of shopping centers. It's not far from the capital of Connecticut, Hartford. Um, but interesting, the uh, Metacomet Trail is there and um, the Metabasset River is there, and that connects to the Connecticut River. And then we get back into waterways. Uh, but this is an interesting area. So your urban sightings um, to the people that are seeing stuff on the Berlin Turnpike, you know, we uh, we totally believe you. We're with you, and we're going to see what we can find today. We'll see you out there on location. investigate this kind of stuff oh yeah, oh, yeah. so hi everybody at CSIS uh, we're here at Bohemian restaurant which is definitely squatch approved so shout out to Bohemian for being cool and uh, we're on our way to Meriden to go check out the black dog of the hanging hills and we'll have some nice history for you there and we'll see you on location take care have a nice day buddy So we just took a photograph of a Bigfoot and uh, there was a gentleman working there and of course we don't know him and uh, here we are. So by the way it's the Bohemian restaurant in, uh, in Litchfield, Connecticut. Turns out so they're, they're Bigfoot sculpture. We're having a little fun. We're, we're goofing around but we're serious and uh, he asked us what we're doing and you know we explained what we do and uh, then he started throwing out theories of Bigfoot and uh, the Loch Ness Monster and he just said I know what the Loch Ness Monster is it's the ghost of a dinosaur and I had to say um, it's not the first time we've heard anything like this if you there's a book on it called the Goblin Universe and uh, real interesting stuff anyway the, the gentleman turned out to be he was a fun charismatic guy and he loved what we were doing he's the owner of Bohemian if we'd stuck around another 10 minutes, he probably would have given us a free pizza. Anyway, uh, we don't do this. Listen, we're not into promoting, you know, restaurants and businesses. But they're cool because they have they have a mermaid outside. They have the Bigfoot, and they used to have a lake monster there, but that disappeared. Maybe it's a ghost. It's, it's the ghost of a dinosaur sculpture. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it isn't. But, so far as restaurants in Connecticut go, Bohemia gets a five on the squatch meter And we're already having a lot of fun here today. We'll see you out there. All right. So, we're driving through Waterbury. Um, and here's the Timex Museum on our left. If the camera person can catch it, there is a MOA which is a replica of one of the statues on Easter Island, the island of Rapa Nui. And, uh, you know, that's 
made out of the original ones are made out of volcanic basalt and um, you know these things are multi-tons and this is a, a you know ancient they're from an ancient Polynesian culture and it's the most distant point of land on planet Earth it's an island with limited resources so um, well I guess I'll you know do it like they do in ancient aliens so I'll do it with mad children so you have to wonder if there's not some kind of alien technology being used um, because otherwise it just doesn't make sense I'm spoofing, of course. I could do a sucralose. Let me do a sucralose for you. Okay? Uh, uh, so, did they use alien technology? I mean, was this from a culture that had stones and chicken bones? And the answer is a resounding yes. We don't do that here at uh, Assisis. But um, kudos to you guys on Ancient Aliens. And I'm sorry, Matt Childress, you're a Facebook friend. And, and Georgia Sukalos. We're not done with Sukalos yet. Um, but denying Bigfoot, um, is that something that CSIS does? Well, the answer is a resounding no. We don't. The MDC does that. Mostly deny cryptids. That's where all of your cryptid activity is, and you can't go there. But we're going to Meriden today. We're not too far. We're having a great day. We're on location. We're on arguably the worst highway in the world, Route 84, going through Waterbury. But Waterbury, hey, you got great pizza. You got a MOA sitting there in the shopping plaza just off of a highway. And you got, you got the Holy Land, which is a big illuminated pink cross got to be about 50 feet tall if not bigger and inside there is a replica of Jerusalem and right over here is an Armenian temple and uh, and a sign of Jesus right underneath it so you know what Waterbury you got it going on we're on location So over here, these are the hanging cliffs of Meriden. This is where we're going to do our investigation in Hubbard Park. But uh, these towers, it's interesting. Um, of course, doing research today, just before we came here. And the nation's very first FM tower is, was here, was put up in 1939. And the first FM broadcast happened right here on these mountains. It's a 70-foot tower. It's still there today. And of course, they've added um, cell phone towers and weather towers and whatnot. But here you see a very interesting, some of the finest trap rock formations around in, in America. And we're going to talk more about it. But here we are, and we're about to pull into Hubbard Park and begin our investigation of the black dog of Meriden. We have our dog with us today. And, uh, you know, our dogs aren't the greatest bunch. But we figured, hey, going to look for a dog. We're going to bring our dog. And, um, we encourage dog pets. Take your pets out. Even if you have a cat. Bring your cat out. Here we are. Beautiful uh, Hubbard Park. We'll talk more about it when we get This is a great park. Just, to, I mean, this is truly a great park. This is a this this pond is fishing for children 16 and under, and many fountains. Uh, if you come here when the daffodils are in bloom, there's 50,000 daffodils in this park. It's quite the sight. They have a daffodil festival, and then uh, that starting the day after Christmas through New Year's, 
they have this whole park lit up with white lights and uh, sculptures of, of animals and sh just it's just spectacular it's a cool place And so here we are. We're going to start the investigation. It's now 12:59. It's 87 degrees. As uh, the camera person keeps reminding us, it's hot. It is hot, um, but here we are. We're on location. We finally made it. We got some interesting stuff for you today. So we're going to get out there on location. All right. Okay. So we're on the white trail, and. Um, you hear the highway over here that's route 691 this park was here before they put the highway in and how come every time i take the dogs cryptiding this happens yeah um but anyway there was a big debate with the owner of the park um, on allowing this to go through and it did you know and highways just suck they just ruin everything but um, this, this is a vast track of land. We're going to talk more about it at the castle. We're on the white trail. To get to the castle, we'll hit the white trail. So we're about to walk over 691. And uh, this was... Again, this park was here before the highway. So part of the concession is when they put this stupid highway in that you have to build this access so people can get to the far end of the park and uh, go see the castle. We're on our way. actually pretty cool so they have the trail uh, pretty well delineated so long as you follow the little white castle if you will and that's not an endorsement um, but as long as you stay on the white trail they got it marked fairly well we'll get there it's hot. Okay, camera person. Uh, we're in Trap Rock, and I suggest you shut the camera off, and we'll see everybody up there. we're sweating it's really hot um, these cliffs go up 700 feet and this is the trap rock but look you just never know we find the coolest stuff this is I thought it was a nip bottle which it is but there's a message in it and the camera person saw that message in the bottle we're gonna open it up and put it back see what it says it's a prayer God's promise. That's very cool. Um, you know, we were at a temple today. And we passed the Moa. And uh, we're going to put this message back in there. It smells like Sambuca. God's message smells like Sambuca. And there you go. For someone else to read. We're on our way. And we are dripping sweat. It's, it's 86 degrees. Yeah, wow. All right, let's get up there. A very large black snake is here.
So this, this guy here, we'll identify him later. That's either a king snake or maybe a water snake. Um, but he's large. He's over four feet long. Mary, come here. Get out of here. And he's got beautiful, he's mostly black. So we found the black snake of Meriden. Um, my dog, of course, you see why he's not a very good squatcher. He just doesn't even know. Um, but there are only two poisonous snakes in Connecticut. There's his head down there. Uh, the copperhead and the, the timber rattle of snake. Beautiful snake. Are we rolling? Oh. So this is the this castle over here is a replica of the castles that the Turks used to build on the Danube River in Europe in the 12th century. And we'll see you up there. Gorgeous here. Mary! Come on, put the dog. Good, how are you? You know which way back to the park? Yep. You stay down, follow the white trail down here. This way definitely takes you down. Just follow the white trail back. All these little white squares. You're about a mile away from the park. Perfect. Not it's not that bad. It's all downhill. And then it opens up the paving down there. Oh awesome. You get to, you get to go over the highway and a bridge. Awesome. You guys see a little black dog? Uh, we have it, no. Okay. You guys lose on this trip? No. Oh. It's a, it's a little, uh, it's a Meriden legend. It goes back a hundred years about the, the black dog of Meriden. He's like a ghost dog. Oh. So we just thought, Meriden? This is the town, Meriden. Oh, this is the town of Meriden. Right. So there's supposedly a black dog. Yeah, you can look it up online. Oh, that's Black cool. dog of Meriden. So people, we just... People report seeing that. Then. Yeah, first time for joy, second time for sorrow, third time for death. Oh, do you even have to? Ooh. Wait, first time joy, second time... Sorrow. Sorrow. Third time death. You only want to see the thing once. Yeah, you only want to see it once. <laughs> yeah. Have you a nice hike, guys. This it, is you? definitely the way down. Have you seen it? Oh, Where's my water? water? Well, keep your right eyes... Here not peeled. Definitely. I got some dog biscuits for it. <laughs> All right, you guys enjoy the rest of the You're on the right path. Take care. Pretty cool. Friendly people. Getting lost. You know, that's the thing. You go in these urban environments and look at how dense this forest. This place is squatchy. We're going to get back there and you're starting the highway, starting to fade out. And I'm glad we could definitely send them. So they, the camera person was talking about a different way up, and I know that way. We're going to go down that way. Um, but it's probably good for them. They're going down this way instead of up like we did. It's been a long time since I've been here. We definitely, uh, we have a sighting of the Meriden panda and the black snake of Meriden. Good day, sir. How are you doing? Good. You going up to the castle? No, I was heading back to the parking lot. Oh, okay. You see a little black dog walking around here? No, you missing one? No. You know the black dog legend? No. Looks like a ghost dog. We just thought that's what you saw it. Oh, no, I haven't seen it in yet, anyway. Have a nice day, no, sir. So you see here, these are butternuts from these trees, uh, highly edible. There's a lot of food in here. So uh, this place, you know, yeah, the black dog, but it's also very squatchy. And then you get the whole thing with the leather man, which is just a person. But it's so cool how those, those three are just layered on top of each other. A lot of food base here, a lot of forage base. I've seen herds of deer up here, dozens and dozens of them, 20, 30 deer in a herd up here.
So here's the remains of uh, some trees. I'm gonna say black cherry or black locust. Uh, but this tree here is, doesn't have any roots to it. It doesn't have a stump, so that's a big tree to just be stumpless. There's a broken tree over there. I don't know. Potential Bigfoot art. I don't know. We'll see you out there. And Sucalos, it's a resounding yes. So, um, we're going into the red trail now. Here's the castle and an arrow so that you don't get lost and say we told you to stay on just the white trail. You want to then, then get to this red trail. And I assume this double blue blaze trail goes up there. But that, these cliffs are, not only are they steep, but it's trap rock. Some people call it slip rock. And uh, two geologists died. They're associated with the legend of the black dog. One geologist died. He saw the other die. We'll talk about it up there. We'll talk about it up there. See you on location. So we're going to talk to a rock here. Uh, this is trap rock and you can see the fault lines here where this stuff will break off and uh, that's what caused the death of the, uh, the geologist. We're going to post the nerd facts but let's talk to him real quick. We have a, we took a lot of footage today but have you uh, seen like a black dog that if you see him three times is the cause or, or the indicator of people's death is a little happy fella and he barks but you can't hear him and he wags and he doesn't leave any footprints and then he just disappears and you seen him following anything like that yeah I thought so um, we got a treat for him and uh, hey Rocky you have a nice day we'll see you out there this is a very challenging hike uh, I think there's an easy way up but hey you wanna you wanna go cryptiding then this is the kind of place you wanna do it. Especially with a hundred year old legend. And we'll let these two hikers go by. Come on. Oh he's ferocious, so you guys seen a little black dog running around here? No, for this one? No. We're investigating an urban legend. Hello. They've done this before. So we're walking up this orange trail now. And you can see the cliffs. And you can see this trap rock. And you could just see how you could. I mean we are on sheer cliffs. Really they just go straight down. It's got to be a hundred foot drop down here. Um, you could see how you would trip. That's why it's it's trap rock. You could trip and slip on these rocks, and they're all laid out individual rocks, and you just tumble to your death. Uh, it has it could have nothing to do with this black dog legend. Um, but we're on location, and we're taking a break. We'll see you up there. It's hot. It's got to be 90 degrees today. There are nothing like the cliffs of Meriden in Connecticut. Look at that. And as the camera person said, that's the house of the black dog in there. Look at these cliffs, look at this. This is incredible. If you go to hiking, come on out. We'll see you up there. Hot. There it is, Castle Craig, and uh, apparently you can drive up here, and we just, well you see we're dripping in sweat, camera person almost fainted, my dog's dying, that was a very, very difficult hike, um, but yeah, look, you can just drive up here, entrance from Hubbard Park I assume, we're definitely going to go down on this road, and uh, 
Let's get up there and we'll talk about this black dog. Wow, this is incredible. That's Black Pond over there. No, that's not. That's part of the reservoir. Black Pond is over that way more. There's Hubbard Park down there. So this is the highest point of land within 25 miles of the Atlantic Ocean on the entire eastern seaboard from here to Florida. And uh, it's quite impressive as you can see. In Here's the castle, and we're on location. And you can see some of the some of the stonework. Incredible cliffs, these incredible views. Wow. Awesome, isn't it? Oh, yeah. oh. So we're on location and we haven't seen hair nor hide of this black dog, but we did see a black snake, a huge black snake. And uh, we're going to continue. We're going to go up into this tower and get a view from there. It's really nice. It's got to be close to 100 degrees today, so we'll see you up in the tower. This place is cool. Captain Craig. It's free and you can drive. You don't have to do a life threatening hike to get here just because we did. This is just so cool. Face off here. Uh, no, sorry. We got one of those. He's just tired from the hike. We didn't drive him. He's not alone. Not even tired. Right. Here, watch this. Yeah, he, he did his, he held his own. So one thing's for sure, okay, <clears throat> if you look out here, yeah, you see a highway and you see some development, but what you mostly see is tracks of forest over there, just miles and miles of forest. There's some more mountains over there, all kinds of water over here. There's the brown water at the park where we started our hike today, so we are definitely on location. And uh, from the, nobody's seen a black dog, they all say, did you lose one? And I'm going to start saying kind of, kind of lost one. We haven't caught him. We're trying to catch up with him. Uh, but we got some treats. We highly recommend coming out here. You know, if you're a die, dar, die hard uh, CSIS follower, George out there, do the hike. Don't just drive up. All right. And these guys are about to drive over a cliff. All right. We'll see you out there. We're still looking. We're still looking.
You didn't see a black dog, did you? No. A little. No. Can you lose, lose a dog? Kind of. Kind of. Don't let us get in your way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice view over there. Mm -hmm. So nobody's seen this black dog. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out. We got a little surprise for you. How you doing today, sir? Yeah, I know. Oh. No, 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 no. Little black dog? No. That's why. We have a sighting of a panda. We're investigating the black dog of Meriden. Have a nice day. So we're on location at Castle Craig, Meriden, Hubbard Park, and uh, the cicadas are here, and you can't hear the highway from here, and you saw these incredible views. But we told you we have a little trick, and when you're looking for a black dog in Meriden, Some, we're gonna leave some dog biscuits for this fella. Okay. And we're gonna leave some, and I brought some for my dog too, so not to leave. Oh, no, better than that. Some food for him. We have some gourmet trail food here. And uh, we're gonna have a little meal here. Now you could drive up here if you don't want to do this insane hike, but everybody we talked to, they're like, You hiked from there? That's too hot for me. We did pass a couple girls that embarrassed us by just hiking on up, not sweating at all. But we'll see you out there. We're still investigating dog biscuits for the black dog of Meriden. So we're starting a new tradition here. Okay? You want to leave dog biscuits for the black dog of Meriden. And you won't have any problems with that fella. And it's kind of one of those things where you want to see him, but you don't want to see him. Nobody seems to know much about him. We're, we'll see you out there. Uh, there's a lot of information here, but it boils down to um, um, Meriden industrialist Walter Hubbard donated the tower and the surrounding park, uh, which is 1,800 acres, and it's incredible. And uh, they go on to talk about the views and that this place is on the National Register of Historic Places, it's dedicated in uh, October 29th. October 29th, so that's just two days away from Halloween, 1900. Makes you, it makes you wonder, that's all. Makes you wonder. And it, uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna look into whether or not this Walter Hubbard had a dog. Uh, and no one's looked into that. But we're gonna go check out the cliffs. Um, yeah. So it's a black dog. The uh, legend goes back over a hundred years, and it's it's like a small terrier, okay. and it follows people hiking, and he'll be very friendly. And when he barks, you can't hear him, and he doesn't leave any footprints. And then the legend is, if you see him, the first time is for joy, the second time is for sorrow, and the third time is for death. Yeah. And some geologists. To date, 16 people have died that are associated with the legend. Wow. And we're here checking them out. So he's in this area then? Right around this castle. Wow. I, this is the first, first time, time we've ever heard, heard of it. As soon as you type in Black Dog of Meriden, we're going to have to check it yeah. out. Oh, we're CSIS, Connecticut Cryptid Investigative Society, and we're on Facebook. Oh, wow. is that right? Wow. Oh, oh, Rob. Yeah. yeah. Nice to What's meet your you, first Diana. Name? Colin, Diana. About 20 years ago, I was hiking here when I was younger, over on those mountains over there, and this dog was following me. Wow. And I lived in there, I knew nothing about it. It was a black dog. And then he just vanished. He was following me. Kept, yeah, look out there. I kept love the distance about 10 like feet. That. He followed I me for it. a I good mile it. or so. Yeah. Wow. And this is the hills where the leather man used to hike. Is that right? So, but yeah. 16 people have died. 
coming back you know, to you. Connecticut has a large history of, mm. uh, of uh, psychic phenomena that yeah. has happened, you know, yeah. and uh, like uh, the melon heads. I don't know if you've yes. heard of up near us. Yeah, they, uh, they have the uh, um, one that happened in Bridgeport. Uh, the uh, cops went to the house and she was levitating. This was, I think, in the 60s or 70s. Oh. It was an exorcist, um, exorcism going on. Look that up in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Oh, we're check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah. it was weird because the cops came, and I, we, I lived in Bridgeport when I was young, and this happened when I was young. They shut down the street and everything. It was so that weird, yeah. And then also, too, they have one in Monroe that was like an I exorcism didn't even know that. type thing, yeah, haunted yeah. house. How you doing? In, in, in uh, Monroe, yeah. We do more cryptid stuff, but this yeah. dog falls right into that sort yeah, of. Is that right? Whoa. Now, what's the difference between cryptid and... Uh, cryptid, we believe, are just biological animals undiscovered. Wow. Left mm -hmm. over from uh, the Ice Age and stuff like that. Is that right? And they're just here. They're just wow. biological yeah. animals. And we check it out. But this one has more of a paranormal element to it because it's 100 years old and it's, it's got all these sort of apparition things about him and wow. ominous thing and you know it's a little it's, terrier though you're saying yes and mm. he'll bark and he'll follow you very friendly mm. and uh, it's funny because i used to live in Meriden and then there's mount misery lamentation mountain and black pond and they're all associated with sadness wow right yes. lamentation mountain mount misery wow yeah, and that's why they were named that yeah, in Black Pond. This place here was dedicated in um, two days before Halloween in 1900. The what up? Was dedicated two days before Halloween in 1900, right wow. on that thing. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. You know, it, it's funny, I mean, they just built this, I, I know, but uh, the, the background of the guy that actually developed this was pretty cool, you know? Right, yeah. right, Mr. Hubbard. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was an interesting fellow. In mm -hmm. fact, we're going to mm -hmm. contact the Historical yeah, Society yeah. later uh -huh. today. If, if you go online and just look up Black Dog of Meriden, you'll see the whole thing. And people see this dog, but uh, he'll bark and you can't hear him. He doesn't leave any footprints. And um, if you see him one time, it's for joy, second time for sorrow, third time for death. And on record, there's about 16 people associated with the legend that have died. Hmm. And I've seen them once about 15, 20 years ago on those other cliffs. Wakefield now. On the cliffs of Black Pond I was telling you about. Really nice. Cool. That should be your next hike. And yeah. check us out. We're on Facebook. Season. Okay, everybody. Um, we're going we're gonna to walk on out of here. We've met some nice people. We interviewed them. Here is the dog biscuits, and we're adding this to the legend of the Black Dog of Meriden if you don't want any problems with this dog. If you've seen this dog and you still want to hike here, leave him some dog biscuits like we did here. And we got three, which is a nice Tesla number, as I call them, divisions of three. Good things happen. Check it out. Hubbard Park, Castle Craig, on a crazy hot day that everyone else drove up to. We'll see you out there on location. Give us your reports and check out our next videos. Pigeons are liars. Birdsaren'treal.com And there, if you look over that mountain, we were talking to somebody about investigating stuff. People have been asking us today, so we're getting out there talking to people. See that sleeping giant mountain? You see how it looks like a mountain camera person? I'm like a giant laying down? That's sleeping giant, state park. We're gonna get there one of these days. But boy, this one, this one here was a long time coming. So we're gonna see you on another day or further down there. We're still looking for this guy on the way down. Leave him some dog biscuits. You won't have any problems.